How are you doing? And uh, it is the end of July as I do this, 2022, almost August. Can you believe it? Summer is coming to uh, its last leg. That's sad. I, I, I wish summer were longer. This is T. Bloom's request for uh, for July. Fair to Midland, Walls of Jericho. So I did react to Fair to Midland just recently as well. Well, I, I'm still not so familiar with them. I got to react to more. So here, let's do it. From an atom bomb, retreat from a teleprom. Practical, you are not. Break the ice with a cotton swab, a fever that cools us all and shakes a contact sport. No one was waiting to throw out the pilot. We float on the back of the winds that you know the time. Front of the mix because uh, that's actually one of the most interesting things about this song listening to his singing. Mostly he's been singing at a lower range and it's got an interesting timber to his voice, vocals. So that I'm going to guess because the last song I reacted to was much more what you what you might call progressive uh, and also the key was weird C and then a B flat and then a G sharp you know to me it sounded a bit weird and I bet you any money uh, sometimes you write a song and then if the key is not just right for the vocalist so they may actually change the key of the song just to sort of fit the vocals in. That's like a D sharp major. I think that's the key and that's an unusual key. Anyways, size keys aside, I liked it. Uh, it was a shorter song. It was simpler and that's fine. You know, um, I think that uh, any prog band should, in my mind, have uh, you know, a little welcome mat song that's, that's going to appeal to 
uh, the, a wider base, you know, people who are not uh, as much into Prague or whatever. It, again, it's a welcome mat. It's, it's, it's something that tantalizes. It's a candy jar that says, uh, come on inside the van, you know. Uh, we, we'll take care of you. Don't worry, you know. Uh, the van is like a Prague van. It says Prague on it. It's got King Crimson and stuff. And the King Crimson cover, ah, you know. Anyway, so enjoyed the song. It was uh, the singer. I liked his voice. We really enjoyed it. It was an interesting lower key and the way they uh, produced the vocal sound. I can't quite decide what it was. They processed it in some interesting way. And it was just right there. It was just sitting right fat in the center of the mix. And, and it seemed very appropriate because the song, like I say, it was a three-quarter song, basically. Three-quarter, there was a... Maybe it reminded me a little of... Uh, oh, a 90s band. Gosh, what are they called again? Linkin Park, yes. It reminds me a little bit of Linkin Park because it's his vocals. And that's the reaction, so... Goodbye and talk to you later!